I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my Diary of a Pregnant Artist series. I just finished up my 23rd week of pregnancy. I reorganized my whole entire studio. I'm switching from before what I had was this dark and moody studio, which was reflected in my paintings. And I'm switching my studio now to be a more bright and airy open space, which will be which I'm reflecting in my paintings and pushing towards that new aesthetic. Really, it was the, I've been thinking about doing this for quite some time, going more for telling mysterious stories in my work in the light rather than in the shadows. Like you can see like the dark paintings on the wall here. Um, but I think what really pushed me to do this now was the pandemic, being isolated in my studio, in my house all day. It's just having a bright and airy space is just a lot more comfortable to be in all day. And I think also that when my baby comes, I think that'll be just a more comfortable place for us to hang out as well. So for a, a tour, <laughs> you can see, I'm trying to work now from all, all natural light. And before it was, I prefer to work from natural light, but it's more so with one window open than all the other shades drawn. So I get that really intense light with shadow sh like intense shadows then but now i've got all the doors open and windows open and that's how i've been working from natural light this is my still life setup where i've got these nice bright windows and it's nice because having all the windows open you can see how bright the studio is now so i don't have to have any light bulbs, light boxes, soft boxes that I had a lot over here when I was working on that painting when it was flipped around. And so there were all these cords and things that could get knocked over. So I'm trying to like push as I'm changing things around and getting a new feel for my, a new look for my paintings. Think about this space if there was um, a baby or a kid around <laughs> in my studio to that it's just less for accidents to happen. And for the foreseeable future, while my husband's at work um, during the day, I'll be the sole caretaker of our kid, but I also wanna be working and keep making art as well during the day. So I have an idea where I'd split up my studio. So kind of cut off what you see right now in frame would not be the working space, but my working space would be here which i've been liking to do smaller works here and all this space too and it seems big enough where i can be working on a big project right here or even have an easel up against the fireplace and be working on a smaller project here so i can still be working on more than one project at one time which is what i prefer and then have this space, which is like a cutout right here, as um, a small family room slash play area that my kid can hang out in while I'm working and watching him in this area right here. And I don't know how realistic that is because I've never had kids before, so I guess that'll be, we'll just figure that out when it comes. I've had some people tell me that it's probably not reasonable. And then I have other people that have told me like, yeah, you could totally do that for times during the day. I think it's probably just gonna depend on my own kid's temperament and what phase he's going through as he grows up. But it definitely makes me feel more comfortable planning like this for the future, for me being, um, uh, mom that works from home. So for this space, I mean, all of the the artwork and everything would be taken off the walls and removed so there's no accidents and maybe put up a large baby gate that goes across here and have like a small couch here and then like, you know, age appropriate plate, whatever he's into, play stuff um, for the rest of the space. So I guess we'll just see what what happens and how it works out. But I'm testing it out right now where I'm not doing anything in that section of the studio. And this week when I've been working on my smaller stuff here, I definitely haven't missed at all 
having my studio be a little bit smaller. I am just working on small pieces right right now, so this seems like a plenty fine space for it, but I think it should accommodate for working on larger works like I prefer to do as well. And then I think it's about three more, a little bit more than, I'm still in my second trimester, but getting near the end of it. So I still got months to decide if this feels like a good working situation for me where I can hopefully be working and then also have a, a section over there for him to, to hang out in as well. Also on a side note, some of my least favorite pregnancy symptoms that I've been having is the mid back pain and then um, rib pain on my left side that's been really intensely painful. And for the last couple weeks or so, it's been like almost gone, which is incredible. I don't know if my baby shifted or what, but like the pain, it's so much, so much better now. And also my energy has been up as well. I feel really good now, um, better than I've felt all through the pregnancy energy wise being that like towards the end of the second trimester. And also if there's any other working parents out there that have an art studio or something similar where they're all also, um, you know, like taking their care of their kids at the same time, if you have any tips or ideas for how to organize this space, I'd love to hear it.